day here in Lake Havasu City. Early morning, about only about 90 degrees at about 8 a.m., but looking at a very neat Studebaker Champ pickup. Very nicely done, professionally restored little pickup. Restored in a stock format with a lot of extra options added to it that are all factory. Um, we're going to walk around, we're going to tell you the story about it, but what a cute little truck. It's kind of like a teal green um, factory color. I believe it's an 8E T6 model. We have a storyboard here that we'll cover when we go to the tailgate on it. Um, it's a uh, 8E T6 Studebaker Champ 63. Um, it's known to be one of the finest uh, examples in the country, or at the time of the restoration it was. It's a beautiful restoration performed by Dooley and Sons Restorations in Texas. Uh, Rod and Customs is typically what they do, but they had gotten this truck, a couple of Studebakers from a lo local gentleman, and this particular truck came out of Arkansas. They used it for a shop truck for many years, and that story is in that magazine there, and we'll actually post it at spudsgarage.com. Once they were done uh, using it as a shop truck for a while, they always knew they would restore it, so they started collecting a lot of NOS components and, and factory option components that they would put on this truck during, when they did the restoration. Uh, so a lot of SOS, comp SOS NOS components were used, such as that grill is an NOS component. There's a few, full list on that storyboard there. Um, but it has a uh, manual antenna safety stat, it has air conditioning, it has a 289 four barrel V8, uh, automatic transmission, heater, a lot of neat little options, sliding rear window, uh, body off professional style restoration uh, done to kind of concourse standards. Uh, the truck's much better than it would have been new. When it was originally built it only had uh, one option of safety stat flashers and it had been used for hauling stock trailers up in Arkansas from what I according to the story. But uh, they loaded this little pickup with options. It's a beautiful pickup factory like I said factory air conditioning so on and so forth. Um, Again, we'll post all that stuff at Spud's Garage. We just kind of like to walk around these and kind of give you a good feel. Stunning truck, you know, as far, if you're looking for a cute little truck, it's got a stock feel, it's a good little parade vehicle, something that's not all modified and messed up and lowered to the ground, uh, with some cool options like air conditioning and automatic and a four barrel V8, this would be a cool little rig. Um, Inside, it's much like it would have been new. A lot, again, a lot of NOS components were used, but door jam to door jam, they CAD plated all the latches. There's CAD plated bolts underneath the hood. We'll cover some of that. Uh, all the upholstery is stock in appearance. All the weather strips have been redone. This has a padded dash in it. Uh, commander radio. There's the under dash air conditioning right there. Factory steering column with column shift sliding rear window which is a factory uh, uh, component that they had at the time. Step back here, we're going to give this little door shut. Every panel on this truck, you can tell this truck was professionally done. The panel, the gaps, the seams, everything are just about as good as you're going to get it which is dang near perfect. Um, splash guards on the rear fenders here, the step side bed, it's really kind of a fleet side bed with step side uh, fenders on it. Kind of neat. Uh, doesn't really have a step side to it. You gotta like the utilitarian look and feel of a truck like this. This is the kind of truck that uh, uh, you know it just uh, always has special character. You don't see many Studebakers. Um, if you like something different this would be a neat little thing. This comes out of a very prestigious Lake Havasu City collection here where there's multiple cars and I'm talking a lot. Um, Gentleman fell in love with this and purchased it and has had it several years. And it's just time for the old girl to go. We will cover the undercarriage here for you. One of the options is the chrome rear bumper here. This tail, tailgate is perfect and there's a reason because it's one of the SOS components that was put on the truck which is an NOS tailgate. Um, all the safety chains and everything. We'll actually have a video here in just a moment with the tailgate down where we lay the storyboard out for you. Um, step back and take a look at it. A little warm here today, that's why I'm shooting it in the shade. It kind of gives you a good idea of the reflections too. You can see how straight the body is on it. Uh, this truck did some good service for a lot of people over the years and was given a lot of love by Dooley and Sons, so it's a beautiful rig. Um, 63 Studebaker Champ pickup. A Champ with all the options. 
We'll take this out of the way so we're not so you get a chance to see that panel. You'll actually see still photos at spudsgarage.com. So don't go, don't uh, don't stop here. Make sure you go there too. Um, the bed itself is beautiful. We cover that when we cover the magazine too. Um, in the bed of the truck here in just a few moments. Again, door jam to door jam, very nicely done. Just a sweet little pickup. They've added carpet to it. I'm sure probably from the factory it was a rubber mat deal. Door jam to door jam, again, it's got a uh, full headliner in it which is unusual for a pickup of that area. Most of the time they wouldn't even have a headliner, it'd just be bare metal. Flare stat flashers, I believe. We're gonna hop in here. Factory clock over there on the side of the dash. Studebaker radio. I think I said commander on the other side. My eyes aren't that good. Glove box. Air conditioning, emergency brake right here, wipers, it even has squirter bottle on it. I'm going to fire this old girl up. Temperature, we haven't warmed it up. Gas gauge is working. Temp gauge is adjusting itself. Anyway, we're thinking you get the idea. Go to spudsgarage.com where we'll have plenty more, but also hang on to the end of the video. It's time Let's we take a look underneath get... the hood. Level of detail is professional throughout this truck, just like the rest of the truck. The under the hood's the same way. Uh, you see the firewall and so on and so forth and all the aprons they use cad plated hardware it's a 289 studebaker v8 with an automatic transmission factory rear differential um, see it has an updated gel battery in it it has factory air conditioning that's been added during the restoration uh, a lot of components as we mentioned earlier in the video were they spent numerous years getting uh, finding NOS components preparing for the restoration. This heater box, this climatizer uh, fresh air box is an NOS component. Um, so a lot of time was spent trying to get this truck looking as uh, sweet as it does. Anyway, uh, very nicely done, runs perfect. All the wiring's beautiful. I'll give you a look down here where the, they've got the safety windshield washer blue bottle, uh, bottle here. I'm going to go in here and I'm going to fire it up just for grins, reach in there, let you hear it run. The owners added, the current owners added dual exhaust to it. Starts right up. A little bit of a belt squeak, no big deal. Anyway, there you have it. You definitely want to go to spudsgarage.com, but you also hang on to the end of the video. Uh, we'll cover a lot here. Have a great day. Give us a call. We're never any pressure. If you're looking for a sweet moment, moment here of the video to share the bed with you with the tailgate down, but at the same time, we're going to cover the uh, magazine that this little pickup was in. Uh, very nicely done restoration, as I've said throughout it, but the fit and finish is the same all the way through the truck. Uh, champ with all the options. Here's the magazine article in Vintage Truck. Uh, 2002. The truck has 175 miles on it right now, but here's it is the same article, all broken down. <clears throat> a little uh, display plaque here that goes with it. Uh, one champ. It was restored by a well-known truck restorer in Texas. I'll have all this story at spudsgarage.com. Uh, but it's a well option, 63 Studebaker 8E T6 options, 289 V8, four barrel carburetor, automatic, air conditioning, clock, radio, I could go on, but we'll let you go look at that at spudsgarage.com. Anyway, make sure you hang on to the end of the video, where we'll have plenty more. All right, let's have a look at the undercarriage, very nicely done and very professional body off restoration as we've talked about. You'll see the bottom side of the bed is finished in the body color. 
all factory underneath it other than the exhaust that the uh, current owner added added dual exhaust to it to give it a little bit of more zip <clears throat> all everything's been rebuilt suspension wise undercarriage of the truck has uh, all season 235-75 R15 tires on it with a little white wall fuel tank here kind of give you a feel very nice little pickup all factory this truck's not been modified other than the options that were added to it um, so it's a factory chassis truck meant as an original style restoration front suspension underneath the hood you already seen underneath the hood the level of detail on this truck is extremely professional kind of a neat little truck for just about any collection um, all factory braking manual steering dropped axle parallel leaf springs 63 we appreciate you coming to Spud's garage give us a call anytime if you're looking for a sweet little pickup loaded with neat little options one you can drive around town run a parade with give us a call never any pressure again go to spudsgarage.com have a great day